Surprise, surprise. I thought in celebration of reaching 8,000 subs, I would release Shmup Arch 7. I know it's something a lot of you have been waiting for. I've been waiting for it, so I'm really excited to go over some of these updates. The first one you'll see here is the Schnazzy New Background and also the auto-rotating overlay. So there's a nice subtle scan line overlay you can toggle on and off, and it will also auto-rotate. So if you're playing in Yoko, it'll play in Yoko. If you're playing in Tate, it'll flip to Tate so you don't get the wrong scan lines going the wrong direction. That's never a good time. Then you see Garega right here. So Garega running with one frame of input lag. It feels amazing. It feels fantastic. It feels like the way Garega should be played. And also, if you go ahead and load state the very first save state slot, that'll unlock all the ships. You just load state, press start. There are all your ships, so you don't need to worry about unlocking the ships with the code. Then here's some Ketsui action. Not really any updates to Ketsui, but it's always cool to see Ketsui running on Shmup Arch. And that's really my preferred way to play it. As much as I like the PS4 port, getting that extra frame of input lag cut out and also being able to play it with G-Sync and FreeSync and on a monitor or on a CRT, just so responsive, it feels amazing. So this is a really fun way to play Ketsui and of course all the save state slots and everything like that. So I thought I'd show a little Ketsui in action for the fans of that. And here's the really cool surprise. What, what, what? <laughs> Extra ship colors in Dodonpachi? How is this possible? Well, thanks to some begging on my part, a really awesome member of the shmup community, Alafonte the Wizard, was able to create this really cool ROM hack of Dodonpachi that allows you now to have these various ship sprites and ship colors, sort of inspired by the M2 ports. And I was really excited because I really wanted a black AL ship, as you can see here, and it's super cool. And also another change on the ROM hack, there's no gameplay changes. The only changes are the color changing ship and also the removal of the soundtrack. That was something I also asked for because if you're grinding uh, Dodon Pachi for hundreds of hours. That soundtrack, which is like four tracks, gets a little bit old. And now you can finally play Dodon Pachi with B Storm background music as was intended by Akeda and by God himself. So it's just, I think it's a really cool little um, feature. All you need to do is you need to download it from the link and put it in the patched folder of the uh, Retro Arch, Mup Arch uh, little file tree there. You'll see in the image here. Uh, I can't really include it in it necessarily, but you can get it through that link and you also can patch your own ROM, you know, because we all know you've got your PCB in your closet, just take out your uh, your PCB out of your closet, go ahead and just rip that ROM off it like we all do, of course, and then you can patch it yourself if you want to do that. That's also linked in the description. Batrider. So now what's really cool about Batrider in this version of Shmup Arch is you don't have to do anything. Everything is all unlocked like it's supposed to be so you get all these secrets and everything unlocked for you you know the stage select or what it stage edit sh uh, individual ship advanced course all that's just unlocked by default just make sure on shmup art you're always playing on the japanese roms for the most part because those are the roms that i configure mostly i'll do some of the uh, western roms and stuff but i usually just focus on the japanese roms because that's what we all play on but yeah uh bat rider playing with one frame of input lag it, it feels amazing uh, speaking of input lag, what, what, what? Psycho with one frame of input lag? Who would have thought? I thought Psycho was supposed to have seven frames of input lag, or at least six. I thought that's how it was intended to be played, but if you want to break the rules and actually enjoy the games and be able to dodge and hit bullets, yeah. Shmup Arch, one frame of input lag on these bad boys. Then also, what do we got here? Some Mars Matrix, one frame of input lag not six or seven frames i gotta tell you it feels absolutely amazing i know people who love mame uh, don't like to admit it but come on playing mars matrix with one frame of input lag how can you go wrong there and then dodonpachi doj i wanted to show it because the rom on this bad boy is a little bit stubborn and uh, let me know if you're having any problems and i might write up a detailed post in the comment section but to get the rom to work you basically need to have the Dodonpachi 3 ROM in there with the other ROMs, and it's kind of a tricky beast, but yes, it actually does run in Shmup Arch. You just gotta figure out how to get those ROMs acting correctly. And I thought it'd be fun to show off. What I ended up doing is just recording some B-roll footage for this video, but I ended up getting a no miss, no bomb, no hyper run all the way up through the fourth stage, and then I died a bunch in the fifth stage. But I thought, hey, I'd show off some uh, action on the turtle where I didn't hyper and I didn't bomb, just a laser all day, every day. It 
it's an awesome game. You cannot go wrong with DOJ, especially because there's not a really solid port of Black Label. The PS2 version of White Label is fantastic, but the 360 version, uh, not so much. And that's not, uh, that's only a uh, White Label on the PS2. And then I thought it'd be fun to sh include some cotton. Oh, you want some one frame cotton gameplay? Yep, it is possible. Unfortunately, you can't do it with Cotton 2. I thought that would be actually hilarious to have that included in this video with the 11 frames of lag and everything like that. But uh, Final Burn Neo, that's the only core you should use with Shmup Arch, by the way, which is included in there. Don't use the MAME core for the love of Akeda. Do not use that MAME core because it's broken and not good. You need to use the Neo core. So unfortunately, no Cotton 2, but you can get some wicked Cotton 1 action here, which is really cool. So yeah, that's just my quick update on Shmup Arch 7. I hope you all enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comment section. If you want a more detailed tutorial of how to get everything set up, I think I did a good job in the Shmup Arch 6 video. So just go ahead and uh, watch the Shmup Arch 6 video if you need any help with getting things set up. Uh, thanks so much. Adios.